Hi. Um, two weeks ago, I created a kind of a script so you can switch between different 3D objects or canvas or whatever you want. But what happened is that this script and uh, or some information or some values of the script uh, won't uh, work anymore in three months. So you have to make an upgrade and hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Qune Design. This is part two, the uh, refresh, uh, refreshing new script for 2020 and well, enjoy the process. Let's start. Okay, let's start with the native UI picker for 3D objects and in the first case, uh, by default, you see the first um, picker uh, value and uh, this is uh, the heart for the, the button later. And before, when you need to, when you create a picker, make sure that your textures you want to use, um, that the manual compression is not compressed. So. Uh, if this one is not um, active, you won't see the picker down below. Uh, next step is to create uh, the picker capabilities. Go to native UI control and the picker is by default in my case um, active, done. You can ignore this one right here. Uh, it's because we have no uh, values and no function for our picker. So this little window pops up and close it and make sure you keep track on track what you maybe make wrong. So show the console for your script. Let's start with a new script. Double click on that. And by default, uh, this text will this uh, will appear, but we start with our modules. So you see this one, one right here, const scene require scene. So that is the model module scene we uh, see right here. And we need a module for uh, the native picker and also for the textures. So start with the const native UI every time acquire require what did I say native UI and const textures Whoops, require require um, textures right here. And now we create we upload the assets we want to use, the three different textures and the three different null object for our switch where we want to be switched between them. So, and we create um, and promise all and put all our um, texture and textures and objects we want to use into that. So, um, promise all uh, start with the textures dot find first and find our first texture it's whoops this one right here Copy this one. Uh, 
and we don't need that. Sorry, this is a mistake. Oh, we upload our textures in our script with that. And now we need to search for the um, null objects. So scene, this is a, we search right here, the root and find first, whoops, comma and start with this one. No. Two. Okay. So we have scene find. Oh, sorry. So that's why you need to uh, become true right here once again and nothing happened perfect that's a good sign we start to create with with our assets uh, the native ui picker and start with a um, function whoops uh, then function and call that one res results. And put into that we start to create the button so that the buttons later for our picker have the information from our texture. So const that um, first one is um, the first texture right here and it's the result zero. So it picks the first texture of our uh, assets right here. Oops. And second, it's a little bit tricky. And two. And of course, we have our buttons right here, but we need also a later um, our for our switch um, the null object. So const object. I'll call it one result and go on. So it's three this one is two and this one is three so um, four and five. Uh, this is uh, the first object, the second object and the third object we want to use. Okay. And we see right here that the, there is a problem. Start again. Um, the um, it was not kind of finished or um, so you need to add this one right here so it knows knows that the whole function is closed uh, and nothing is left but let's start now with the configuration for our picker so we start with the const configuration equal and um, in this configuration we create our um, items for item textures 
for our picker so that the picker knows which item uh, it have to use for the uh, if you switch on zero one or two so um, select we start at first with uh, with the selected right select index is zero and um, go to our items equal and create our item list with the image texture is button one comma I really hate that the second and the third one index selection ah maybe this is a problem start again now it looks better okay and close that one so this is the configuration for this one right here so you created and selected index and we start with the the one the first one or the zero and zero is button uh, one so button one texture zero button two is this one and three is this one so seems okay for me now we create the picker so you see finally the picker and picker whoops start with const picker is our whoops in this case native ui and picker native ui dot picker and we need to configure our native UI picker with our configuration. So picker dot configure with configure ah whatever this one. Dun, dun, dun. and by default you don't see the picker so picker visible my nails are too long so true and now you see your picker everything seems okay and now uh, it we create our uh, a kind of a function and that monitors uh, the picker and where the value is right now and now we create the switch between the different picker values or um, in other words um, we create uh, <laughs> the visibility of our uh, 3d objects start with picker this one here <laughs> and uh, selected selected index so this one and monitor and 
subscribe function yes function and call this one val for value and yeah close that one too just to look if there is any problem no okay now you have uh, the picker uses the, the, the selected index and monitor it kind of way and subscribe this value into a function i understand it like that so and now we create a switch switch and we switch between the value new value and we start in the value with we have in this case you can add so many cases you want in this case we have three cases uh, the first button the second one and the third one so um, the index value case is zero no um, now we start with maybe you see my uh, clip before right here we start with uh, the object is hidden true or false so object one is hidden okay what's happening right here oh, hello again is hidden is in this case false because we want to see the first object and second one is true and the shift one is also true and to we make a break and I think it's like when value one is on uh, make that possible and then stop it or something like that Be because when I don't use the break <laughs> um, you can't select the next item or the next um, yeah can't, it doesn't it, you can't switch you just switch the first time and then nothing happened anymore so now copy this one and create the other two and this is true and you see false the stars then and use that again And this one is two, is true, and this one is false. Okay, let's test it. And yeah, wow. <laughs> and so you had have created a pretty simple and uh, for every situation useful um, switch thank you so much uh, for uh, your comments and for your questions and all the ideas when you like this tutorial give this one a like and share it with someone who wants to know about that and also uh, when you have any questions please let me know in the comments or is a little bit more complex you can also write me on kiono design uh, at kiono design via instagram thank you for watching i really appreciate it enjoy the process